Yo, uh, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J Hill. Ah, man, I do these conversations all the time, man. Shit. Special guy, special uh, young guy in, in the building with me right now. Um, Damani is here. What's up, dog? Yeah. Thank yep. you, man. Thank you for having me. Nah, thank you for pulling up, dog. Uh, we was just talking about, um, I gotta stop judging people, bro. I gotta stop it. Yeah, man. That's, it's just, everybody judge, man. It's, <laughs> it's, it's natural. Yeah. You know, it's just a human nature. I gotta stop that, bro. I was looking at your interviews. I was like, man, this dude is so dope. Um, thank you. And, and humble. And I'm like, man, like, his music ain't all that. He's just too humble. Like, he, he ain't flexing enough on his Sometimes interviews. Sometimes it ain't all that, man. Nah, but I was listening to your new tape. It's really good. Thank you. It's man. really good. Man, and I will say, I didn't get a chance to listen to the whole thing, but Hennessy and Crystals. Yeah, Henny and Crystals. Henny and Crystals is just keep playing in my head. Like, I can't get it out of my head. Man, I appreciate that, man. That, that was a vibe, man. Captured mm -hmm. on uh on the mic. It's definitely a vibe. Yo, so you were saying that you um at one point in time you was like attracted to girls and crystals. Let's talk about that. Yeah, it was just interesting, man. It's just they all like a, a woman uh telling me everything about this stone and how it brings positive energy and what it attracts and what it keeps away. Mm. It's like just seeing how passionate they was like about and they would like just give me crystals and they would like give me bracelets and necklaces and stuff. And I just, I thought that was pretty cool. I think I liked the fact that they was passionate and they knew what they was talking about. Mm. You know? Did you, um, how, how much have you learned about like crystals and things like that since you've been? Um, I think like the most common were. crystals, just uh, amethyst, rose quartz, clear quartz. All right, slow down, slow down, because I don't know nothing about none of you guys. This is different. A, you got to teach me something now. I'm, learn I'm learning from them. <laughs> but, um, What's the amethyst crystal? What is that? Tell me amethyst, it looks like, uh, it looks like, like uh, a regular clear quartz, but it's like purplish. Mm. It got like a purple tone to it. Right. And uh, then what do I say? A rose quartz is kind of pinkish. It got a little pink uh, tone to it. This is a uh, tiger's eye. I, I I forgot what the stuff do. I think rose quartz is uh good for your heart, mm. uh, good for your heart chakra or something like that. And yeah, man, just stuff like that. Nah, it's dope, bro. You way ahead of me because I told you I don't know nothing about it. And like, I don't know as much as I need to know either. I mean, you know, bro, my girlfriend is a, a Scorpio, right? So mm -hmm. she um she does the crystal thing. Gotcha. And I still don't know nothing about it. So the fact that you know that, and I don't even know that, you way ahead of me. She probably gonna be pissed off when she see this. Yeah, man, I did. They be they be breaking it down to me, and it really be interesting. Cause um, you say that you might got a lot of girls in your mind right now. Nah, not like that. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just you know, I've run into a lot of different people, and they just like give me give me stuff. You know, sometimes I ask too, like, what is that? Mm -hmm. I don't. I try not to ask, but I just let them know I like that. What, what <laughs> what's that right there? That look cool. What what attracts you the most about the crystals? The fact that they knew what they was talking about, and it just looked like a. Uh, it looked like some some jewelry. It looked like uh, a ornament, a nice ornament. Mm. And it was just uh, they got different, they got different shapes, they got different um, colors, and they just make you feel different ways if you really pay attention. To so it. you you really feel like having a crystal, having this this object in your hand, in your pocket, it does something to your energy. If you believe it, mm. anything you believe is true. That's dangerous. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you believe it, then yeah. If you don't believe it, then it ain't gonna happen. But it can't. So it's it's, it's funny that you said that. Like, I want to talk about that before we j jump into Skydive. That's the name of the album, right? Yeah. Before, before we jump into that, I wanted to just get to know you a little bit, if you don't mind. Okay. Um. So you said something that was interesting. You was like, uh, if you believe it, anything you believe is true. In your world, yeah. In your world, yeah. Let's talk about that. How? Because because I feel like if if a lot of people thought like that. It could be more positive outcomes because it depends if we always thinking negatively, right? We, it's like we bring negative things in our circle and our universe. That's right. So like, I used to be big on like trying to figure out the answers mm. to like religion and stuff like that, and then I just realized like if you believe that that whatever whatever you believe in, if 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 you believe that it's positive and you keep doing this, you're gonna keep getting a positive outcome, then that's just what this that's what's gonna happen. You know, who cares about? what uh what his name was and what year it was and what it you know what I mean it's just if you believe that if you do this then positive things going unless it's po not nothing negative mm -hmm. you can't do nothing negative and expect positivity but if you're um if you just believe something positive and then um believe that you'll attract positive energy then yeah you it's will attract positive energy 
Yeah, it's kind of like uh, the uh, what Wolf, Wolf always be saying the way of the universe, right? It's like it's kind of like you get you get back what you put out. Yeah. Nah, facts. Yo, so it's crazy that as you say that, like, is that something that you had to learn on your own, or something that like was taught was was taught down to you from your parents? I would say a little bit of both, man. Cause of course, my parents, my family, just in general, like planted the seeds mm-hmm. and uh, maybe sparked sparked the idea a lot of times. But you know, it's up to you to really dig and do your own research and figure out what works for you. Right. So, um, and that's what I figured out. I figured out um, I was too focused on trying to find the answer. It's just literally like I feel if you believe if you believe this and it's positive, then it's positive. So you so, think you you think you're more like spiritual than um, religious? Yeah, I feel like that. Yeah, it's crazy because I was having that conversation. And I feel like that's a that's definitely like a new newer thing, right? I feel like a lot of us, and I'm not well, I'm got a little age, a, a couple couple years on you, but you young though. I know, man. I appreciate it, dog. But I, I'm a, right. I'm old now. I'm old now. But I 20s, got twenties, thirties, thirty, thirty. Okay, you thirty, yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, I say that to say. I got you by a few years or whatever. It's not. It's more than a few, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I got you by some years, but I say yeah. when I say the new age, I think, and I feel like it started with us when it came with like, um, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. I feel like you hear that a lot now. And honestly, I think honestly, and I want to get your opinion on this. I feel like sometimes it can be an excuse not to do the right thing because I feel like a lot of times, you know, when you when you look at religions, yeah, it can be fucked up sometimes, especially when we think about Christianity. I'm sorry, all my Christians out there, but. When we think about it and we think about the things they do and the things that they don't like and they go against, it can be fucked up. But at the same time, when it comes to uh, religion, like you got Muslim religions, you got other religions, Buddhist, Buddhist uh, and I don't want to get into things that I don't know too much about, but it's a lot of rules in it. You right. feel me? And I feel like when people say I'm, I'm, I'm more spiritual than religious, it's, a, it's, a, it's an easy way out to escape the rules of their religion. That's just my personal It opinion. could be. But like I said, I feel like... Um I feel like it's not no one answer, you know. It's not a, it's, it's not like a simple answer. It's it's just, you know, if you believe that um if you believe this and it's not and it's not harming anybody, it's not hurting you and um is is positive, then it's going to be positive. No, if you go to church and you sing uh positive songs and you you hugging people and you're giving back, that's positivity. Who cares if it's the right stuff. You know what I mean? That's, mm. You're doing positive stuff and it makes you feel good. It makes other people feel good. You wake up in the morning, you're doing the right stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. that's positive. Like, who cares? Like, really, like, what the answer is. There is no answer. There's a lot of people out there that care, man. But you're right, though. I feel you. Like, I'm, I'm with you 100%. It's just people, just people. Like you said, people gonna do people shit. We just wanna know so bad. <laughs> and I feel like we'll just be running around in circles, like just trying to just like, who knows the answer, who knows? It's, I feel like it's uh, it's all it's all like custom. Like everybody got their own answers. Like it's what works for you. Mm, 100%. Yo, um, you know what was interesting t- to me? Um, of course, everybody know like you T.I. son. And yeah. um, I feel like you, it had to be hard growing up, just as much as it was easy. Like I remember I watched some, I feel your interviews and you were saying like life was great. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and even it was so great that sometimes you felt like you couldn't really talk to the friends or, or your peers around you because they couldn't relate. Right. They didn't have the same experiences you had. Like, how was that growing up, man? Because I, I feel like I heard you talk about, but you didn't really get too it. Was deep into exactly it was exactly like that, man. And um, I feel like I'm going to really touch on that a lot on this next project. But I don't want to talk about the next project. We're talking about yeah, Skydive. We're talking about Skydive. But, but we're talking about Damani, though, right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying. um. I'm saying I'm really gonna touch on that in the next project, but um, yeah, I was. Uh, I, I felt like now I realized that I was like compressing myself and thinking of uh, allowing me, allowing me thinking about how other people feel, Mm-mm-mm. allowing me thinking about others uh, to suppress who you right, are, right? To like make me feel smaller. Mm. So I would like talk about it. So I would like sometimes not even feel comfortable smiling because mm. I don't know if everybody else feel like smiling, like. Mm. Like I, I don't want nobody to feel like I'm feel like I think I'm better than them, or you know what I mean? Because they already, like you said, they subconsciously um, already thinking something, they already feeling away. Exactly, like you, like humans judge, humans judge of the first appearance or just what they hear, or what they think, and it's like uh, I feel that, you know, I'm sensitive to that. I feel that I feel these things in the room. So yeah, I would just allow those things to just uh, I wouldn't really express myself, and I feel like that's why I gravitated towards. 
music and mm -hmm. just creative things in general because uh that was me expressing myself yo it's crazy because there's so much to unpack when you say that right i feel like mm. i'm just in that like shit, bro i'm 30 right mm -hmm. i'm i'm literally just learning about like my feelings and and understanding my feelings and how much they had an impact on my life the fact that you're 20 years right. old and you can have these conversations and be like yo like i had to suppress i had to suppress this as a kid you know right. what i'm saying like how was you able to tap into that? Did you go to therapy? Was it like, how did you learn this I shit? I feel like I always just ask myself questions. Like mm -hmm. I just, I, I talk to myself a lot, sometimes out loud. Nigga say you crazy myself. the whole time, you ain't They crazy. don't be around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> people don't even be around and just hear me. But when I be by myself and I know I'm by myself, I be sometimes talking to myself and just really like being honest with myself. Because mm. a lot of times we'll walk outside and we'll be out in the real world and we're just responding. You know, we're just responding. A lot of times we're on autopilot. A lot of times we're defensive, so we don't give ourselves a chance to be honest, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I ask myself questions a lot of times, and I really try to be honest. And that's how I feel like I figure out a lot of stuff, man. And I feel like that's my therapy, because um, I don't... I, I, I know humans, I don't know, man. I just know people just humans, man. They just make mistakes. And no, they just, I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to talk to nobody. I'm going to say them. I, I'm going to talk to my people. I don't want to talk to like outsiders and stuff like that. Yo, um, it's, it's crazy that you say humans make mistakes because I wanted to talk to you about that, right? Because you, you felt like um, being T.I.'s son, right, and being on television shows and just being in this in this public space all the time, is it's hard because you gotta kind of like make mistakes in public, right? You gotta make mistakes exactly. out loud, exactly, right? and, and that can be yeah. hard. But I, I'm pretty sure like it gotta be some dopeness to it. Like it gotta gotta be something special to it. It's a lot, yeah. It's um, nothing's just gonna be nothing's gonna be one way. Mm. I feel like if it's if it's uh, my father told me this too, but he said um, if everything going good expect something bad to happen mm. just prepare something bad just prepare for something bad to happen mm. if everything going good you having a lot of fun in the midst of you having so much fun everything going good remind yourself to prepare yourself because life is going to balance out bro you know what i'm saying and it's crazy you said that right because if and like because we having this conversation and we talking about like um uh like spirituality right we talking about uh life and energy and things like that and they, right. some people would say you don't want to expect nothing negative right but i look at it like i look at it like this the world is the world right the universe right. is the universe so we know that if it rains a certain amount of time that some somewhere down the line it gotta shine the sun gotta come out right exactly yeah it's, and the same vice versa so if it's a, if it's sunny a, a hundred days out of the year eventually it has to rain so it's not that i'm expecting right. something negative it's just that's just the way of the life that's the way of life balance man everything got to balance out nothing gonna be one way or, or there ain't no side gonna be heavier than the other it's gonna eventually balance out always facts let me talk to you about that right speaking of like always being in, 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 in on front street right i seen a um video of charlamagne he was on um a talk show and he was asking him about social media and he okay. was he was saying that uh he wouldn't want his kids well, he don't let his kids use social media because this is it's hard. It's already hard as it is, right? So now to to make they can't make mistakes in front of people, right? They don't they don't, they don't want social media feeling like they uh, they gotta get validation from social media. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to know what are your opinions on social media as far as like, I know when you get older and, and you just you you decide to have kids and things like that, will you let your your children get on social media? How do you feel about it? Man, um, okay, I get it. I don't want to. I don't want to push my fears on nobody though. Mm. I wouldn't want to do that. This um, young man got would, some knowledge. Talk to him. <laughs> I be just be thinking, man. Nah, talk I, to him. But um, social uh, too much access too soon when you don't understand everything could be hurtful. Mm. You know, it could be hurtful or it could be helpful. I think it's just important to just explain. It's it's a, that's one thing my parents did. They just kind of like explained a lot of stuff and then they would have to because i would always ask why 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 i would literally always ask why it's <laughs> videos of me when i'm just like maybe three like just asking why about everything mm. and um yeah so they would just have to just explain like literally everything to me and um i think that would be helpful because if you try to keep somebody if you try to not somebody if you try to keep a kid away from something they're gonna go straight to it they're gonna go to it like <laughs> right. they're gonna want to do they're it they're gonna want to rebel they're mm -hmm. gonna want to do they're gonna want to do that 
So I think it's just important to like explain and just, you know, be right there with them and uh, walk them through it, walk them into it slowly. Like, cause you know, you, you should know your kid, you should know your child. So um, you, you should understand like um, how much they can handle at, at a certain amount of time. Facts. I, I wouldn't think, just I wouldn't just cut it off, you know. Right. I I feel the same way. I think um honestly, like you said, I feel like it's how we think, right? Yeah. So because you think it's negative, it's gonna be negative. I think um especially with somebody like Charlemagne the God, right? I feel like we did see a lot of his mistakes on social media, but right. that made him exactly who he is. Right. Like he he wouldn't be the the hill person that he is now, right? Like we seen him go through these, we seen him make the mistakes, so he had to learn kind of relatively quickly right right and because yeah. he was in our face i feel like with our kids if we use that right if we use that for them we can we can explain that to them and they can use social media 10 times better than we will do what we used it for exactly man it's the explanation like you can't just say i'm not saying that this way he's saying i don't even know nah, nah, but you it. can't just say no you right. can't just say no don't do it i feel like that's what religion is mm. touching back to religion mm. like they say yes. um they say, you know, don't question support. this. Just have faith. Facts. You know, it's just don't question it. Facts. Just believe it. It's, it is what it is, and then, yeah, that's just how it is. 100%. If you don't believe in, if you don't believe in this, this what's gonna happen. Mm. I don't believe that. You know, I, I believe in asking questions because at the end of the day, who really knows anything? We mm. don't know nothing. All we know is what we've been told, and the, the person who told us, somebody told them. This is right. So we don't know a thing. So. I just question every single thing. So how do you feel about faith though? Because I feel like how how can we now now because I'm on a on a I'm on the edge about this, right? Because I feel like faith is real. And I feel like you gotta have faith without question. But us being humans, we're gonna question everything. So how do you feel about faith? Like where does your faith lie? Um man, I feel like uh it's you got the spiritual, you got the physical. I know, uh, I know anything, I say this in my music, but anything physical has limitations, but the spirit has no limitations. Mm. I believe that. That's, uh, faith is, faith is something that you believe without needing to see. Mm. I mean, not needing to have But proof. are we always asking for proof, right? How do we mm -hmm. have that faith? It's just something you just, you just naturally believe, like. Like they teach us by air, you know what I'm saying? We don't really see it. We don't really, it's just there. You know, we just breathe it in, breathe it out. Mm -hmm. And we sometimes we feel it when the wind blow, but they just tell us, you know, we kind of like have faith that air is here. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, and uh, when you go underwater, air is not there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? For us. Oxygen, and, right. Yeah. So I don't know. It's just about faith. I feel like faith is just something you believe without, uh, without proof. And you're saying how? Do you have that faith? How do we I feel know like we, when to turn it on, when to turn it off, I guess? It's just something you believe, I feel like. Mm. Like, it ain't no it ain't no right or wrong answer. It's just like, whatever you believe. Mm. And, uh, and But still keep an open mind, though. You believe, like, I feel like that's one of the problems. You get older and you get stuck in your ways and you get scared. Like, the longer you live, you get scared of uh, your your beliefs changing, your beliefs being challenged. And uh, yeah, I just I just always keep an open mind. Whatever I believe, I'm gonna believe it, hundred percent. And I'm and I'm gonna say it out loud, and, like mm. until somebody challenges me and show me something else. Right, I like that. It's kind of like a dream, right? I feel like um, when you talk talk about faith and and uh, you can talk about like dreaming hand to hand. And I feel like a lot of times when you have this faith in something like yourself, right? When right. You have this dream about like your, your career, your music, man. I got I, I know it's going hit, right? And people asking you how, how, how. Mm -hmm. because i saw it yeah right? it's something you see yeah and, and it's, it's crazy because i feel like um i know this is in the bible somewhere but somebody else said this i don't know exactly who but it was basically saying like your dream is just a preview to what's about to happen right like it's, it's really just a preview and like when you watch when, when you think about movies right before every movie come out and on the big screen it has to have a what a preview right, right? gotta show us what's about to happen in the movie so just because you don't see the preview in my mind or my dream don't mean that it's not going to come reality. That's right. what it's for me and who I think is my, my higher power, right? But I think it's just, it can be interchangeably like when we having this conversation about faith and we having this conversation about um, religion, it can just, it can go either way, I think, honestly. I believe that too, man. Nah, mm -hmm. facts. Um, but I'm glad I can even have this conversation with you. It's dope. It's dope. Yeah. It's special. Yeah, man. Yeah, I like this. I just never... Um... I don't like talking about, I ain't gonna lie, I don't like talking about this, like, in front of, like, uh, 
like the whole world because mm. it's like you don't really know who you're talking to mm. and some people may not be ready to receive certain information they just cut you off because they think you're crazy mm. so i you this what this is probably like the first time i'm talking about like religion and what i feel and you know what i'm saying that's just because man um the internet is you, you you're crucial, talking man. to everybody you're talking to every single body and not everybody is ready to hear what you got to say Mm. And what I don't want is for someone to disagree with what I'm saying and it just cut me off and say, yeah, he tripping. Mm. And I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing else he got to say because that might block off something else important. Facts. You so, know, what? Um, one thing I'm learning, bro, is I feel the same way. Uh, but people going to do that regardless. Like, no matter they what. They're going to do that regardless. But we could be talking about white and black, bro. And somebody could be like, nah, it's not white and black, it's gray. Then I'm going to say you're right. <laughs> I'm going to say you're right because it's whatever you believe. It's whatever you believe. But but if I'm, um, but if I'm, it's, if it's just me and you and mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying and then, then everybody else don't get it, it's like I can't even tell them they're right. They nah. just see me just keep talking and keep tampering with their beliefs and stuff. What know? I will say, bro, just being honest, bro, I feel like um, the energy is real and it's pure. Yeah. You can feel it. And the people that, that, that can feel it, it's meant for them to feel. And the people that can't, it's just not meant for them to feel. You feel what I'm saying? And like, yeah, that's just life. Regardless, no matter what, you can you can make a a, a song that you think is the most positive song in the world, and there's gonna be somebody somewhere that's gonna think disagree. That's gonna think of the opposite. But um, I'm glad we could have a conversation about something that you probably don't usually talk about. I think that's right. dope. I do want to ask you: Do you feel like going back to your childhood, right? If you can remember, you said you couldn't have. You felt like you uh you had to close yourself off sometimes when you come come around some of your peers. Well, I didn't have to. It's just, that's what I... You yeah, know you told I, you that because yeah. you, you, had, you felt like it. people probably would judge you or they didn't understand. Right, and I didn't want to make anybody else feel bad. Exactly. They are, I feel like they already thinking that I think that I'm better than them. Mm-hmm. So I ain't even like, I just... I suppress your feelings. That's what I meant to say. You yeah, feel like sometimes yeah. you have to suppress your own feelings for yeah, other people, yeah. right? And I think that's a, a commendable thing to do when we don't know any better. Right. I was going to ask you, do you think that you have um, survivor's guilt at all? Yeah, man, I ain't, yeah, I didn't want, um, I ain't want a lot of stuff that came my way, mm. and I had to decipher whether that was survivor's guilt or whether I just wanted to do it on my own, you mm. know, I had to decipher that, like, uh, um, well, like, one of my first checks I had got, I told my pops, I said, I don't even want it, I said, I don't want to give it away, mm. I said, give it, um, spend it on toys for Christmas. That's dope, man for the kid i didn't even want it i was like um i don't know if i was 15 i probably was 15 years old but him being a good father you know i got older and i needed some money (laughs) and he said yeah man you thought i gave that money away here you go and i said god dang (laughs) but i was serious i was like don't yeah i said i don't want that money give it away yeah nah for real so yeah i was i was running from a lot of stuff man I, yeah. I think um, survivors get with, is real, right? And even on a, on a lower level, I feel like sometimes when we come from uh, these hard places, right, like like the uh, the hoods and the projects and things like that, the places that we want our children not to grow up in, right? And I think our we your parents did a great job at not having you have to uh, see see these certain lifestyles, and we don't have right. to run from it, right? We don't have to run from it. Like even myself, like just being able to get myself out of the projects and things like that. I shouldn't feel guilty that my friends are in there, but that's just a human thing. It's a human right. truth. You know what I'm saying? Because we want to, as good people like we are, we want to take everybody with us. Right? Yeah, everybody ain't ready. Though. Everybody not ready. Yeah. Everybody not ready. Yeah, I think um, I think it's special, bro, uh, just having a conversation. Because I, like I said, I, I did a couple, watching a couple interviews, and I seen you speak about certain things, and I wanted to talk like just in further detail about it. Yeah. And I think um, the survivor's guilt is real. But you got great parents. Like you said, your father clearly taught you a lot of things to... Um, yeah. So what you what you think is like the biggest lesson that your father taught you that the most memorable lesson? That man be saying so much, it's crazy, man. It's he be saying a lot yeah. of shit. Too. He be using a lot of big words that we don't yeah, understand what the fuck. He be saying so much. He got you reading a dictionary every day. <laughs> nah, he did tell me to, but nah, nah. Um, that nigga crazy. Yeah, he did say that for real. He said read a dictionary, but he made it to, um, about the music. He was like, yeah, man, you want to. Cause he seen that I was I started getting serious about music. He was like, "Yeah, man, you need to read this dictionary. You need to know. You need to have more access to vocab. You know, you don't want to feel like you you uh stuck and don't know what to say. Don't know how to express yourself. So have access to uh, a bigger vocabulary. Mm. So he did tell me to read the dictionary, but I didn't. 
But um, <laughs> who does? Like, yeah, <laughs> like but, nigga, who does? He that? told us to read a lot of stuff. But, you probably ain't start doing that shit until you got older, maybe. Yeah, I, yeah. And he and he's sitting every time we say something that remind him about what he told us. He's like, I mean, I already t- I told you that <laughs> ten years ago. Like pops, I was ten. That's an old nigga shit, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah. No, so what's like the most memorable lesson that he taught you though? I think the most common, most memorable, most common is uh take it was music related to music. He was like just take it serious mm. and don't waste nobody's time. You know, none of this is promise. And um yeah, just put 110% into every single thing you do. No, facts. And I feel like I really I really live by that. Mm-hmm. I do. I I take my time. I, I don't like, I won't be rushed. You know what I'm saying? And if I don't, if I can't give it the quality that I feel like it needs and give it um, 110%, then I just probably won't do it. Mm-hmm. And that's why... I, that's why I don't do a lot of features too. I'm not gonna lie, cause sometimes I don't feel like uh, I'm on, like I can give it what I feel like you need, and everybody be thinking I'd be weird, and I just don't want to work with them. Just like I'd be like, nah. But then I tell them like other artists, like, yo, this this sound like you can get thug on this, or yeah. this sound you can get 21 or god dang, or this sound like you know what I mean. I try to, but they be. Some some artists think it's weird that I don't like do music. I barely record for myself. But weird is good. We I feel like we we starting to see that now. Like weird yeah. is really good. I feel like we starting to see that. Like um shit, Young Thug. Yeah. W- people yeah. used to call him weird. People used to call Thug used to weird. Call him weird yeah. People used to call um shit a lot of Gunna. A lot of, uh, lot of creators. A lot of dope artists. Tyler the creator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We could we yeah. could keep going. So I think I think the world is starting to show. Even the industry is starting to show us that weird is good. Yeah, man. Um, it's good to a certain extent. I just don't like making people feel uncomfortable. Nah, I feel you. But I feel like one, one, you gonna. I feel like it's gonna come a day. People, you, you can't control it. Yeah, bro. but I you just, gonna grow I, into that and not giving a fuck. Like fuck y'all niggas. Like yeah, I know that's like, gonna come. That's like, gonna come with time. Just man. not yet. Just not yet. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't got there yet. Though. That's all good, bro. It's gonna come. Let's talk about Scott Dive for a second. Yeah. Um, it just when did it drop? I don't it's, even know, man. A couple months. A couple months, months now? Yeah. So we so you damn. This is I don't be remembering dates. <laughs> um, yeah. I fuck with it. I um I think what is, what is your favorite song in there? I like numb. Man, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm not gonna say all of them. Um I like Yeah, numb. don't do don't do that. Yeah, don't I like numb Fallen. Uh and I think talk about it talk about it because that was one of my that was different like i was recording a lot of a lot of vibey a lot of uh songs for the females and then out of nowhere i just recorded talk about it and mm. i felt like that was that was what i needed you know what i'm saying i don't know how i did it and uh i was just grateful so talk about it numb and falling mm. yeah you know which one i like i like uh any any christmas any christmas fire yeah. I just like the vibe. Like, I feel like you can drive, you know what I'm saying? Just getting off of work, you know what I'm saying? Put, yeah. the, put the vibes on for sure. Yo, do you think um the 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 consistent need to like or and you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna ask this question first. Do you feel like you try to disassociate yourself from your father intentionally? I used to, like I said, I had to decipher uh survivor's guilt with uh me wanting to do it on my own. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I did. I probably still do. Mm. But um, I can't. I'm not gonna be able to run from my father. Like, yeah. that's, I'm not can't run from my last name. My father <laughs> is my father. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, man. I just, I just, I definitely do want to establish my own. You know, what I'm saying my own, uh, my own empire, and that's gonna come naturally. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm 20 years old, so I feel like I'm doing pretty good. So my question is why? Because I feel like a lot of us do that, right? If it's not our father, it's our fucking fraternity. If it's not fraternity, it's something that we associated with. They got a lot of wealth to it. Yeah. Why do we do that? When I feel like if we uh, if we embrace it, it can bring us so much more success. Man, um, I feel like that happens a lot in the black culture. Fa- thank. I, feel I don't like even gotta that. say it. Yeah, I feel but like that. Why? <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably a lot of stuff. Probably uh, you see you see somebody, and it looks like they got it way easier than you do. So it's like you just you you kind of jealous naturally because mm. you're like, man, if I was in your position, I'd be woo woo woo. 
you know what I mean, you naturally would feel that way and it would rub off and other people just they say, Yeah, man, you got that from who you got that from your father or you got that from oh this was handed to you and you ain't work for this and you ain't so that mean you ain't did none of you know what I'm saying? And we make each other feel like that when really let's say you whatever you doing, it works out. The person that's talking about the, the putting the other man down. Let's say whatever you working towards, you become very successful and it works out. Your kids gonna be exactly like how they do was you because mm-hmm. you going you gonna pass your money down to your kids. You gonna pass your resources, all your knowledge, and all your experiences down to your kids, so they won't have to work as hard as you or or um, stress about a lot of stuff that you had to stress about. Like that's what's supposed to happen. Like we're supposed to applaud that. We're supposed to uh, we're supposed to uh, lean towards that. You know what I'm saying? And instead, I feel like we kind of we kind of make it seem like it's not a it's not the right thing. Like it's a bad thing almost. Yeah, like it's um I understand like being spoiled and um and like just like being a negative person and somebody really thinking that they're better than others. Mm-hmm. But um. Other than that, man, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you gonna do the same thing with your kids if everything turn out how you think it's gonna turn out. Right. So don't even, don't even put the next man down. No, I ask that because I feel like I see that you try to like, um, and the interviews that I have seen is like, you, you do try to like do it on your own, right? You wanna like show people that you got it yourself, it wasn't no handout. But I feel like even- I to, My bad, I wanted to show myself a, mm-hmm. a lot. And then, uh, yeah, it was really for me, mm. yeah. That's dope, but I feel like it can be like let's, let's say the other way, right? I feel like if if we embrace the the help that we have, like shit, it, it probably would propel us so much further. Like let's say I don't know, for example, you watch BMF at all? I, yeah, I did. I ain't finished the whole season, but yeah. So like for example, like we see Lil Meech walking, um, like he's not following the footsteps of his father, but he's 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 he's, he's acting as his father in the show, right? I right. feel like that was a, a a a huge doorway to to propel his career, his acting career. It might not be nah, he. I, me personally, I feel like he's in a way better position, mm. and that's because of his father. He's right. no longer taking; he's not taking the same risk that his father was taking, and uh, he's not. Uh, he's not. It's not the same. You know what I'm saying? He's head of the. He's doing what he's supposed to do, and his father helped him do that. His father uh, made those sacrifices. I'm not saying whether they were right or wrong, whatever. His father made them sacrifices, and now he don't got to do those same things. You know what I'm saying? Right. And yeah, man, I feel like he's, and that's how it's supposed to be, man. Every generation is supposed to be better than the next. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people try to whisper and say, "Yeah, man, you you don't tell tip, but you better than him." I'm like, he know that, we know that. I, I'm supposed to be better. It's supposed than him. to be right there. I'm yeah. supposed to be better than him. He wants me to be better than him. Um, that's just how it goes. So if I'm if I'm not better, if if your kids are not better than you, then. The, some the parents did something wrong. Mm. So what are some of the things that you do embrace from your father's side? Like are you asking him for help in every the studio? Thing. Oh so you are like everything. It's just like he planted the seed and my him my parents, like him and my mom, they planted the seed. Like, you know what I'm saying? I nothing that I do won't it won't lead back to them. Mm. Like they planted the seed. They planted the idea. They gave me the freedom to like really try to find myself, be creative. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything stemmed from what they allowed me to do and what they taught me and what they showed me. You don't ever hit your father like, y'all want this feature? I want you, I want this feature with ex- et cetera, et cetera. Nah, I was, um, I wasn't, I wasn't into features like that. Yeah, you said that, you said that. Yeah. But like, it's never been nobody you wanted to work with? Like, just like, because you was a fan, I yeah, guess? Yeah, of course. Like, because it, it's, uh, it, it makes you, what is it? It's a confirmation that your music is good. Yeah. So if somebody that you really admire, the artist that you think is dope wants to get on your record and gets on your record, it makes you feel good. It's a confirmation. Okay, I'm headed in the right direction. Mm. Person who I like likes my music enough to at least get on get on it. But um, I was, I remember I don't know how old, maybe sixteen or something like fifteen, sixteen. I did a lot of fifteen, sixteen. Um, around Christmas, everybody asking, uh, "What you want for Christmas? What you want for Christmas?" I told pops, I was like. Cause I was, that's around the time I started getting serious into music. I told him, I said, I want, I didn't ask for features. I said, I want, uh, I want specific beats from, uh, these producers. Okay. I think it was, uh, I think it was, uh, Metro Boomin. Okay. Um, that's a good one right there. Yeah. I'm trying to think who was, who was popping at the time. Metro Boomin. 
Um, what's, the, what's the dude that uh, he? I think he graduated from college. Mike Will maybe. Uh, Mustard, like all the people that was just popping, like, all the producers that was popping at the time, and like it was just banging out hit after hit. I was like, I want a flash drive with these beats on there, and I just want to see what I'm able to do. And he's and he was like, Yeah, man, that's not how it go. <laughs> I said, it's ah. not. And I was like, I understand. It. Now I understand it. He could have got you I, that shit for Christmas. Yeah, I mean. When I got older and I started taking music more serious, mm. and when I was um, I was able to uh, be in the same studio as my father, like I didn't want him in the studio with me. I didn't want him in the same room as me. I wanted to like just because he he's my father. He always tried to say, um, "Why don't you change this or why don't you?" He do, do that, that to you in the studio. It's my father, man. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. <laughs> imagine, all right, listen, <laughs> imagine you uh, you playing sports and your father uh, your father know about sports or whatever he see you on the field or on the court say hey man man you got to keep this keep your hand up and hey, follow through man yeah, follow through. i'm saying like it's your parents they want you anyway so that's why i didn't want him in the studio and then if he wasn't saying something out loud i i felt the energy that he just wanted me to be great yeah i don't need that i don't need that in the i don't moment. need that negative energy yeah. man you gotta get out of here <laughs> that's you know what i'm saying so so um when i was able to be in the same room as him and like be in the same studio. I would I would just go on his drive and see all the beats he from different producers, like big producers that he had. And I just sometimes get on them beats. Just yeah, get so on them beats. Just beats? To see. Yeah, not not <laughs> steal them, but not put them out. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? Just get on it just just in my head, say, yeah, I just got on somebody beat. They'll never know though. Facts. They don't never know who, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah man, I just that's what I did ask for one time, uh, a flash drive full of beats. Oh, no, nah, that's crazy. Man, that's dope, bro. I, um, I think, yo, like I said, man, uh, if you haven't checked out uh, Skydive, make sure you check it out right now. It's super dope. Uh, I honestly like it. I was like, I, when I heard it, I don't know what I was thinking I was going to hear, but it was mm -hmm. the total opposite, if that makes sense. <laughs> but it was, it was just dope. It was definitely like giving me vibes. Like, this is what I wanted to say. It make me want to smoke i don't mm. i don't smoke it make me, smoke. It make me want to smoke people say that a lot man <laughs> like, even before this project people was like yeah man you smoke i'm like nah they're like man i, I ride <laughs> smoke one of this i'm like yeah i don't even but uh i see what they talking about now but nah i, I don't smoke either yo it make me want to smoke bro yo what um so i guess you said you want to talk about the uh you want to talk about more things um, especially like your childhood when your next project. When you thinking about dropping something else? I have no idea. I'm putting it together now. I think I got one song. I got one song that I know for sure I want to be on there. And uh I'm a this is the beginning stage of me putting together this project. And uh, I wanna go about it completely different than I go about other projects. Other projects I just make the music, I just let it come to me. I don't try to uh box myself in with a concept. I don't try to, I just literally just make the music and then sit back and listen to all the music and try to s decipher what I was trying to tell myself mm. or what was I saying through this uh, time period. This project, I always like challenging myself. So I want to do the complete opposite and I want to get, I want to see if I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with hitting it dead on the head now. Mm. I want to hit it dead on the head. If I want to make a, if I want to make a, a singing song a, 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 and tell this type of story, and I get the, down the colors and I say I want to, I want to make it feel like the color yellow or the color blue. I want to hit it dead on the head. Mm -hmm. I want it to be more of a pop song, more of a. You know what I'm saying? Like this project, I wanted to be, um, I wanted to kind of spread my wings. Like, uh, what's the what's some what am I trying to say? You want to be different in a way like something that's not like, usually doing or more intentional i want to scare people mm. you know what i'm saying i want to scare people like oh shit. like yeah like you gotta start making uh traps trap music that is not necessarily people. trap music <laughs> that scare but people. it's um like remember i was saying um i didn't i didn't really get to express myself mm. and i was compressing myself in a lot of times and just like make myself like smaller because of me thinking about what other people think, like this project, I'm not thinking about that at all. Mm, like fuck everybody, what y'all think? Yeah, like I'm a scare people. I feel like yeah, you gotta like just move, right? Like you gotta move somewhere. 
like where like your pops can't get to you, your moms can't get to you. Nah, it ain't even that. Man. <laughs> just like just go off of everybody. Like fuck it's it. It's the mindset, man. It's the. It's like I had to. It was like a week ago. A week, like this is fresh. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like I'm just starting to put this project together. Okay. But like a week ago, I just woke up. And I realized this. Like I realized I was compressing myself. I was making myself smaller. And you know what I'm saying, et cetera, et cetera. And I said, yeah, I'm not gonna do that no more. No, nah, facts. I'm not gonna do that ever again. No, nah, facts. And that's what this project is gonna show. Yeah, you know what'd be dope, bro? Like you gotta like just like flex a little bit. You feel me? Like that's what I'm saying. Just. But it's not necessarily a flex. It's just absolutely normal. It's just people ain't never seen it before. Mm. People, you know. I like that. I fuck with that. Yeah. Yo, Skydive is out right now. Um, all uh, all platforms. Make sure you check it out. Check out Demon Demani. I'm sorry. Um, any anything else you want to share with your people that you ain't share? I feel like we had a great conversation. Yeah, we did, man. Um, anything I want. Let me see. Uh, we got this album Skydive out right now. Right um, now, go get that. Yep, it's out right now on all platforms. We got the Skydive merch. We got the tour coming up. Me and D Smoke going on tour. Mm, fire. I think the first date is January 11th. Um, yeah. Right now, all right, let's have, let's have a little bit of fun. All right, look, look, look. Mm -hmm. We see this. This is a while ago. It's old now. T.I. 50 Cent. You really think T.I. beating 50 Cent in the verses? Okay. I don't feel like my answer is going to be worth anything because I'm his son. Yeah, of but course. Yeah, say I feel like he going to. Because. Um, what, what, if you had to name. I, I know you was going to say that. So if you had to name 10 songs that's going to beat 50 Cent 10 songs, what you name? I'm freestyling right now. Ah, Let me see. That's your pops. You got to know. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Um, what's the god dang? Live your life. Um, whatever you like. <sighs> okay. ASAP. Um, okay. What is it? Uh, dang, man. Can I look? Go ahead. Yeah, you can yeah, look. Okay. Fine. It's fine. Look, look. So if you look, I'm going to look at something. And I'm, uh, let's play a little game. We're going to look. We're going to look. We're going to look. You want you to gonna, you gonna name a song? I'm going to name a song. It's just, just for the hell of it. Why not? Fuck it. Let's have fun. T.I. This shit, I'm thinking you would have had this shit off. off, off nah, the man. Not at all. So if I play 50 Cent in the club, what you playing? I don't know. I, in the club, <laughs> I don't know. But I know I, I said it. We we just sat and had this conversation, and he. Are had, you and your like, pops? Yeah, like how you're. It's like and other people in the room, and they asked him like when you. They the same question when when he played in the club, what you gonna play? And he had an answer for every single thing, and it made so much sense. I just can't think of. You don't remember? So look, uh, it's not right. Yeah. Not right now. Right when, when you get home or whatever. Whenever you talk to your pops. Ask, right? And then just hit me up and just let me know. Because I'm trying to figure out, I want all the smoke. Because I'm a 50 Cent fan. I'm a T.I. fan too, though. But I'm just saying, if we play many men, if we play, it's a lot of songs that we can, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to figure out. I fuck with T.I. Let's not get it fucked up. But mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just trying to see the verses. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know who winning that. I don't, I don't think T.I. beating 50 Cent. You think T.I. beating 50 Cent? You don't think so? I don't know. Anybody? 50 Cent got one good album, man. I mean, he do, but that album is 20, what is like 21 tracks? That's all fire, but then he got the massacre. Then he got, come on, I don't know, bro. You can't just say one good album. Like, let's not do that. Okay, I'm going to just name a, okay, name a bunch of songs. He all right, got, come on. He got Swagger Like Us. He got Dead and Gone. Mm. This is off one album right now. Okay. He got Live Your Life, Whatever You Like. Um, uh, Okay, boom. That was all our paper trail. Now we're going to go to... Let's go to King. King album. Boom. What you know. Uh, Live in the Sky. He could... Yeah. Live in the Sky. Uh, I don't um, think... I don't see him being 50. Because off this one project, I'm looking at... What Up Gangster? That was crazy. I'm looking at Patiently Waiting with, with Eminem. Ooh, that's nasty. I'm looking at Mini Men. I'm looking at In the Club. Top I'm, back. I don't know. I mean, top, nah, that was good. That was a good one. Top back. Why good. you wanna? Top back was a good one. Let me see. You know what? You know what my, one of my favorite songs said from your pops? What? ASAP. ASAP. Oof, that shit was fire. Um, what is this? Uh, motivation. Motivation. Bring them out. Bring them out fire. Come on, man. But I don't know, bro. Like I, you don't know me. You don't it's like like. You should have started with these ones. No, nah, I don't be knowing. I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I gotta look at these. Uh. 
Yeah, man. The man got a lot of, and he got a lot of different genres. Like nah, he got thanks. a lot of. I feel like Fifty Cent hit it dead on the head with one sound. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He hit it dead on the head. One sound. It just was bop, bop, bing, bing. Ooh, Fifty Cent, one sound. You know? <laughs> do you, do you uh, is this something that you uh, look forward to your pop? Fifty song? Cent is a is a my bad. No, you good. Fifty you good. Cent is such a big artist though. He's a big uh. He surpassed music. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Facts, not 100%. But that don't mean his catalog is uh is going to be the T.I. Is that something that you would like want to see, like your pops in the verses? Yeah, I mean, 50 Cent not doing it for a reason. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he's not going to get paid or nothing like that. So it's like, he's why scared he to lose. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah he's so. scared. Even Ja Rule, he's scared to lose. He just don't want to lose, I think. That's my personal opinion. I could be wrong. I don't know. Nah, he ain't even give the same energy he gave Ja Rule to pops. He didn't do that. Yeah. So it's like, so you got to sit back and ask, like, why? Yeah, yeah, like why you? Why you, you know, ain't even? You know what I mean? Has he even said anything out in public about it? I don't know. I think he said something a couple of things, but it was probably a long time ago. I mean, not too long ago, but it was probably a while ago. But no, nah, man. Um, I, I definitely appreciate the uh, conversation, bro. It was a great conversation, man. Yes, sir. I can't wait to see you like propel like even further than where you at, so you can come back and be like, "Yo, J Hill, man, we gotta do another interview, bro." I fuck with it, dog. Right, real quick. Name me some Fifty Cent songs. Shit, I just named some. Many men in the club, in the club many men with it. Shit, uh, 21 questions. Shit, uh, if I can't, um, shit, uh. What's if I can? If I can't, do if it I can't, home, okay. it can't yeah. be done. Cause I'ma let the champagne bottle pop. I'ma take it to the top show. I'ma make it hot. Um, I, I got, know that, yeah, I know this song. Uh, Candy Shop. Shit, we got, uh, the shit with him and Kim. Um, uh, shit, if I can hit once, I can hit twice. Uh, shit. What if, oh, how would how it go? Like, magic stick. I got the magic stick. Yeah, yeah. I know if I can hit once, I can hit twice. I right, the bat. Patiently waiting. Come, bro. I'm, 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 I'm not even looking. 50 cent? Yeah, man. He hit it dead on the head with one song. I mean, one sound. Hey, the loving underdogs on top. And I'm going to shine even when my heart start going yeah, MVP. MVP. Yeah, I'm going to grab his MVP. MVP. Come on, bro. I mean, I'm just nah, saying. 50, like, 50 cent, I, he ain't no joke. I'm just saying. But he ain't going to win. I mean, I feel ah. It would be good. It would be better than I think we Now that would be that would definitely be the that would be one of the best. Yeah, it would be, really be good. one of the best verses. Yeah, you try to try to test me some of I did, because I really was thinking about how did I not know my own father's song? So I was nah, like, dang. It's easy to, to not remember like we have Yeah, I don't anymore. be thinking about none of it. No, it's all good though. But no, I appreciate it, bro. Um I guess for the people that don't know, I'll let them know where to follow you at and all that shit. Look at this camera. That one, right? You could, either one. You can look at this one. What's going down? This is the money. You can follow me on Instagram at the money D O M A N I. I got a TikTok. I'm I got a TikTok. Uh, it's called the money D O N. Everything is probably just the money. Just type in the money. You are gonna see it? Yeah, you are gonna see it. <laughs> Skydive the album is out right now. Please be safe. Enjoy the holidays. It's coming out during the holidays. It's probably gonna come out in a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy the holidays, y'all. Be safe. Stay creative. Yo, I know we supposed to be done. I'm sorry. What was the, uh, I see you did a lot of interviews with a lot of people. What was the most special interview that you did? Like, what was the dopest interview you did? My most favorite one was that uh, Big Facts. Okay. I like, I like, like the that? Big Facts. Yeah. I fuck with them. DJ Scream. That, yeah. That's uh, just, Jade, Jade, I think. Um, I think. I'm not sure. Though. Is he on even... <laughs> I ain't even know my father's song. Man. I, 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 I ain't know the date of my release. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I like that 85 South shit. That's crazy. Yeah, that was that, that was the most fun. Yeah, fire. That shit was fire. Them boys just sit there. And just, <laughs> they make you laugh all day. That shit is funny. Uh, nah, but um, I appreciate it, bro. Uh, and it's a wrap, man. Mr. J Hill conversation series, Damani. Won't got nothing else to say. It's a wrap.